Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the Wandering Kid channel. For today's video, we started the morning with a fun and carefree time as Danusha had his first hand in flight. It was all pure fun as Danusha was getting acquainted with her fun little toy on this trip. Here's the drone! <laughs> okay. Soon enough, this fun fascination with the drone even drew the attention of the neighbors. Yes. It was a fun little surprise seeing the neighbors come together, checking out what this buzzing contraption is all about. We are going to yeah. South Down <laughs> and we are going on this tuk tuk. Hello! <laughs> Hello, sir. We're riding this tuk tuk today. We're heading south. So Danusha is going in. I'll go in. I'll go. Off we go to the bus station yes. as we continue this adventure down south. Yeah, anything you have to say, Danusha, to that? So, yeah, heading down south uh -huh. from my place. As Danusha said, this is the new transportation hub here in Sri Lanka. This is this lies between uh, Ratnapura and Colombo. This is an area between that. So, what area is this? This is closer to Kotkaba, and this is actually Matumbura. Matumbura. Multimodal center. Okay. So here is where people wait to get to their next tra transfer buses their onward destination it actually looks like a very new transport hub it even looks like a commercial center in itself Makumbura that's the name okay so that's Makumbura multimodal center okay so we'll see you guys when we get to the bus So we took that AC bus heading south and enjoyed a rather comfortable ride. Maybe a little too comfortable as we soon actually fell asleep. 
guys, we're here at Gaul. We're walking, trying to look for our guest house for tonight. It's drizzling a little bit, but it's fine. So, let's hope we'll get there soon. Walking on fire when we got to the southern coast, it was not hard to see why it's just so popular with tourists and backpackers. With hipster cafes and colorful murals lining down the street, it is a chill haven, perfect for people seeking the pole pole life. Now it started to rain guys. Apparently, our reservations from the guest house has been cancelled, so we quickly booked another one through Booking.com and we're heading there now. It started to rain and we're waiting for a tuk-tuk to come here. Touching your body, but feeling like I'm all alone, you don't seem to want me. Even though you told me so and baby I wonder if we should just go Despite all the small setbacks we had that day, we had no idea that we were in it for something special. So yeah you guys, despite all the setbacks throughout the day, little did we know that the universe was setting us up for something truly epic. We were just grateful and happy to just be there. For roughly 15 US dollars per night, with an unobstructed view of the sea like this, <laughs> I guess you were winners that day. Yes, yes. Okay, we're now, guys, we're having some tea here from this kind gentleman here. Just outside Gulf Fort. Can't you that? Can't you Yes, guys. This is a package. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 And this one is like buddy yesterday. Okay. Let's eat it. And eat. And of course, as usual. Danusha and I enjoyed our snacks with gusto. And what better way to wash it all down than some classic Sri Lankan tea. Fort here in Sri Lanka at the lower coast. It's the old Dutch fort. They're the old colonizers of this country. So again, here's the clock tower. And these are the walls of the fort. Despite its grim role in Sri Lanka's storied past, the Gulf Fort we know today is littered with cafes, hotels, and stores housed in beautiful colonial buildings, and is rightfully recognized as a UNESCO World Heritage Site.
while most visitors frequent this place during the daytime, Galford hits different at night and we are just so glad to be there. Yeah, so we are now here in Galford. It's a beautiful night here in Galford. Everything's lit up. You see cafes everywhere. You see different kinds of people. You see stores from side to side. And uh, it's very touristy, I might say, but uh, not bad. It's actually nice to see this golf course differently this time at night. It's a different culture, but it's a different perspective. As we enjoyed our gelato, we took one last glance at Galford and went on our way. Buying tickets into Talbe. As we rode through the gall night sky, we can't help but compare this country to mine. Both absolutely beautiful, yet still haunted by the ghosts of its past. This is my favorite drink in all of Sri Lanka. <laughs> Thanks to Danusha here. I'm addicted to Elephant House cream soda. <laughs> I'm gonna miss this one definitely when I leave this beautiful island. <laughs> that is it you guys we have reached the end of the video if you like this content please consider giving it a like leaving a comment share and subscribe to the channel thank you very much for watching and i'll see you guys on the next video peace